Okay, today we're learning chapter three. Um, so we're starting chapter three, which is all about percents. We're gonna start off with reviewing some information um, about percents that we learned in sixth grade math. Now, the first few examples I do are not in your book at all. You need to take out a piece of paper right now, a piece of notebook paper, and write all of this down. Every single thing I write on the board, you need to write down on your paper and make sure you're taking all of the notes. Do not just write down the answer, you have to write down all of the work with me, okay? Um, then I'm gonna do the three examples from the book for 3-1, okay? So what we're starting with is 3-1, analyze percents of numbers. Um, the definition of percent, a percent is a number or ratio expressed as a fraction over 100. So this should be a review. Example one, what is 10% of 50? Okay, when we take 10% of a number, all we have to do is move the decimal over one place. So if we take 50 and we move the decimal over one place, that gives us five. 5.0 is just five. So 10% of 50 is five. Now, if we wanna do 20% of 50, you start off with moving the decimal one place, and that gives you five. That's 10% of 50. If we need 20% of 50, well, that would be double of 10%, right? So we just multiply by two, and we get 10. Okay, next. What is 26% of 61? There's two ways of doing this. This way should be review from sixth grade math. This way is going to be somewhat new to you, okay? We have to learn it both ways because tomorrow you're going to be doing it this way, okay? Okay, so what is 26% of 61? The first way is we can move the decimal two places to the left and multiply. So we can move this decimal two places to the left and then multiply. So for 26%, we can move the decimal one, two, that gives us 0.26, and we can multiply by 61 now, okay? So we're gonna do this longhand. So we're gonna do 61 times 0.26. Six times one is six. Six times six is 36. Put down the six. We don't have nothing to carry here. We'll just put it here. Put down a zero to move over. Two times one is two. Six times two is 12. Add it up, six. Six plus two is eight. Three plus two is six. One plus zero is one. So it should be, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Three plus two is five. One plus zero is one, okay? Now we have two places after the decimal here, so we need to move it over two places. So our final answer is 15.86. You can also do that in the calculator, 61 times 0.26, but I want you writing all the work down for this to see it longhand as well. Okay, percent proportion is the next way. Percent proportion is part over whole equals percent over 100. So now part over whole, the is is your part and the of is your whole. Okay, so if we look in this problem, um, what is 26%? Now, this is is not your part, because this is the percent, right? It's telling you 26% of 61. That's your whole. So we're looking for the part. So what you're going to do is we don't know the part, so we're going to call that X. The whole is 61, because it says of 61 equals the percent is 26 percent so we're going to write 26 over 100. that's our percent proportion now to solve this proportion we do the cross product so we're going to multiply x times 100 and 26 times 61 and set them equal to each other 100 times x is 100x 61 times 26 is 1,586. You can use the 
calculator for that. Now this says 100 times x. So to get rid of 100, I need to divide by 100, divide by 100. So now we have x equals, remember when you divide by 100, you don't have to pull out your calculator for this, you're just moving the decimal two places to the left. So 15.86. See how we got the same answer? Okay, next problem. Continuing to take notes. These are not in your book. Okay. Example four. What is 0.25% of 30? Okay, so the first way to do this is to move the decimal and multiply. So if we move the decimal here, 0.25, we move the decimal two places to the left, one, two. Now it changes to 0.0025 times 30, okay, so we can set that up, 0 0.0025 times 30, zero times five is zero, zero times two is zero, zero times zero is zero, and zero times zero is zero. Move over one place, 3 times 5 is 15, put down the 5, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 0 is 0. Now we need to add everything up. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 5 is 5, 0 plus 7 is 7. 0, 0. We need to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 places. 1, 2, 3, 4. So our final answer is 0, 0, 0, 0.075. You don't have to put that end 0 there. And you don't have to put the 0 in the front, but you can if that makes you happy. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Next way is doing a percent proportion. Percent proportion is part over whole equals percent over 100. Okay, so the part, what is, we don't know what is is, so we're gonna put X there. The whole is always your of, of 30, that's our whole, equals percent, percent is 0.25, over 100. Okay, now we're going to do our cross products. X times 100 and 30 times 0.25. Set them equal to each other. X times 100 is 100X. 0.25 times 30 is 7.5. We need to get x by itself, so we're going to divide by 100, divide by 100. That gives us x equals, remember you can move the decimal two places to the left because we're dividing by 100. 1, 2, point zero seven five. Same thing, right? Okay, next one, example 5. What is 145% of 38? Okay, first way, move the decimal and multiply. So we can take 145, move the decimal two places to the left, that's 1.45 times 38. Okay, we can set it up over here, 1.45 times 38. Five times eight is 40. Put down the zero, carry the four. Eight times four is 32, plus four is 36. Eight times one is eight, plus three is 11. Put down a zero. Three times eight is 15, put down the five.
carry the one, three times four is 12, plus one is 13, put down the three, carry the one, three times one is three, plus one is four. Add zero, six plus five is 11, one plus one plus three is five, four plus one is five. We have two places after the decimal, so we're going to move two places to the left. So the answer is 55.1. Okay, percent proportion, that's the next way. I'm going to erase this so I have some room. All right, percent proportion. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Our part is what we're looking for. It says what it, we don't know what is it, so we're gonna put X there. Over whole of 38, of is your whole. Percent, oops, sorry, we know the percent. The percent is 145% over 100. Now we multiply. X times 100 is 100X equals 145 times 38 is 5,510. Divide by 100, divide by 100, x equals, move the decimal two places, since we're dividing by 100, 55.1. Same answer. Okay, now we're going to go do the examples in your book. So we're going to start with example one in your book. sticky notes to your book or make side notes to do the work if you want. Or you could just continue writing down or you could do it on the guided note sheet I attached. But you have to do the work out. Even though the work is done in the book for you, you have to do it with me. Okay, example one. Um, it says find percent of numbers. Okay, and it says Diego starts a 12 hour road trip with his phone's battery. charge at 75%. Um, given his normal usage will his phone last the whole trip. Now, in the picture to the side, it also tells you that 100% battery charge gets him 15 hours. So 100% battery charge um, is 15 hours of usage. Okay, so we're gonna set up a percent proportion up for this. So remember, it's part over whole equals percent over 100, okay? So the part, the part we don't know, okay? Given his normal usage, usage will his phone last the whole trip? We don't know. We're going to call that X. The whole is 15 hours. That is how long his phone will last on a full charge. That's the whole. 
equals the percent they give us is 75% over 100. Now you multiply. 100 times x is 100x. 75 times 15 is 1,125. Divide by 100. Divide by 100. X equals 11.25. Okay? So that means that his, his phone um, has 11.2 hours of battery left. So if his phone has 11.2 hours of battery left, and he has um, a 12-hour road trip, road trip, will his phone last the whole time? No, because he only has 11.25 hours left. Okay, I'm going to go over to the next problems over on this whiteboard over here. This is example two in your book, and then we'll do example three, and then we'll be done. Sorry, this video is a little bit longer than usual. It's just a lot of information today. Okay, so example two from your book. Use percents greater than 100%. A full set of adult teeth includes 160% as many teeth as a full set of baby teeth. How many teeth are in a full set of adult teeth if there are 20 baby teeth? Okay, so I'm not going to set up a percent proportion with, for this. I'm going to do it the other way. You can do it either way, though. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we need to find what 160% of 20 is to figure out how many adult teeth you have. So we're doing 160% of 20. Remember, we can move the decimal two places to the left. So now it's 1.60 times 20. 1.60 times 20, multiply. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times six is zero. Zero times one is zero. Put a zero down. Two times zero is zero. Two times six is 12. Two times one is two, plus one is three. Add it all up. Move the decimal two places, and you get 32.0. So 32 adult teeth. Okay, moving on to example three. This is our last example. Use percents less than 1%. What is the approximate distance in miles from Earth to the moon? Okay, so. It says that from Earth to the Sun is 93 million miles. So we need to find what the distance is from Earth to the Moon if Earth to the Moon is 0.27% of the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Well, 0.27% of 93 million. So it's really 0.27% of 93 million. Okay? So what you need to do is you need to move the decimal two places to the left, 0 0.0027 times 93 million. I'm not going to do this longhand, but you can. If you put this in your calculator, you will get 251,100 miles. 